So you're probably looking at this video because you're wondering whether you should upgrade the stock on your rifle or not. So I'll kind of show you the difference between a stock stock and an aftermarket stock and what the difference is and kind of the pros and cons of why you should and why I did. So this is a Remington 700 SPS chambered in the 7mm. I got this a couple years ago and I just decided to upgrade the stock on it. After talking to a few people I really want to get my accuracy up and kind of reach out farther long range. So after I took the old stock off is when I realized the difference between a factory stock and like a Bell and Carlson which I picked up online for about 275 bucks. So if you look at this factory stock it's all plastic and on the inside is the biggest difference. So if you look here you can see it's kind of spider webbed out which is good they do these for each for reinforcement and on this stock it bolts in two spots on the bottom and on the top each side of the action it's got one bolt that holds it in. So this entire stock is made of plastic which you know even though it's reinforced it's still pretty strong it's lightweight it's solid in here but it's not very rigid and when you want a precision rifle you want everything to be same the same exact exactly the same every time you fire that rifle so with this I mean a lot of people talk about a free floated barrel in here your barrel actually sits on two tiny little little nubs in there so your barrel isn't floating which it doesn't have to be as long as it's the same every time but this stock is not as rigid as you want to get. I can actually bend this stock, you know, of, you know, half an inch when I put it on my knee. And the problem is with that is when I'm laying down and I have a bipod on, and I've got this rifle here, and I'm on weight on the end of the rifle here, and I push down for any type of reason, this is actually going to raise the front of the rifle, and it's going to touch that barrel even more, which is going to change the trajectory downrange of my bullet. So when you hold it next to a different one, this one. Uh, they're about the same size, I could get you actual weights, but this one is actually solid all the way through its composite and it's got a, an aluminum block that runs you know, through the action, but actually all the way through the, the stock itself. So a piece of aluminum starts about here, comes to here, splits, runs both sides of here, and all the way up to your lug here. So that means no matter what you do, this stock does not move. And so if you're putting your, your weight down on a bipod, this isn't actually going to come up at all because if it comes up and touches the barrel it's going to change the traje trajectory downrange because this is all free floated so after I had I bought the stock I had a gunsmith float the barrel and bed the action and so what that means is here's your recoil lug and what that if you're not familiar with the recoil lug this is kind of an intro video if you, know, you want real in-depth stuff I mean there's some guys out there who know a lot more than me but so your rifle sits in that stock and this is the only thing that holds that rifle from recoiling here. It's called the recoil lug. So when that rifle, you know, you fire that rifle, it kicks back and the only thing is touching right here. So if you've got gap in here, when you fire that rifle and it, it shifts back, back and forth, it's going to change the trajectory of your rifle because maybe you were holding your rifle like this, most of it's pointed at the ground in a safe position. That weight is on the front of that recoil lug and then when you come up to shoot, it's going to you know, bounce back, you know, it's a hair of an inch, but you know, that's that's enough to make a difference. So, with this new one, if I hold these side to side, same thing, but all this is aluminum. So there's aluminum, you know, bedding blocks to here, so when you bolt that rifle in, the action screws are going to compress down on this factory stock. It's going to, it's this is just plastic composite, so it's going to press it down. Um, it's going to change your torque specs, but this one, it's aluminum pillars all the way through is what they call that. And that's not going to change how much you torque that down of how much uh, pressure is going to ride onto the action itself. But the, what the bedding does is, so much you put an epoxy in here, then you, you bolt the, the action in, and it creates a, a smooth, full contact surface through the entire action and the recoil lug. So that means that action never moves in the rifle. You know, it shouldn't move anyway. It's, you never have a rifle that you can fill movement. But when you're talking a recoil of a you know, 300 mag or something pretty big, it's going to have a minute, minute amount of movement in that um, action. As we want to take all that away and make it rigid, as sturdy as possible. And this is kind of a, you know, a basic stock. They go up from anywhere from you know, 200 bucks to $750,000 for a stock. And you know, it plays a big role in your accuracy on the long run. So if you're 
debating on upgrading your stock, it's something I highly recommend. You know, you can you can bed these factory ones, but I don't think it's worth the time. Just spend the money, get a good stock, and then have it bedded. You can do it yourself. There's plenty of videos on that. Um, I might even make one on that in the future. So keep a lookout. Thanks.